uh, this is lab number 8 and lab number 8 we, what we will be teaching you like I said in lab 7 that we will be teaching you demonstration of peristatic pump uh, using Arduino. So, what exactly peristatic pump you see when you uh, look at the uh, drug delivery module or you want to flow the media there are several kind of pumps. Uh, one pump is called syringe pump where you use syringe and whatever the media is there in the syringe as soon as the syringe uh, uh, you know as soon as the media is over you need to refill that syringe right. But in the case of peristatic pump you have a reservoir you have an inlet and you have an outlet. So, the uh, you can use as a uh, continuous closed loop system what does that mean that if you have a uh, if you have the uh, microfluidic chip in the inlet of the microfluidic chip you can connect the outlet of the peristatic pump from the outlet of the microfluidic chip you can connect the inlet of the peristatic pump and be very careful what I am saying. You have a microfluidic chip, microfluidic chip has an inlet and an outlet. The inlet of the microfluidic chip should be connected with the outlet of the peristatic pump and the outlet of the microfluidic chip should be connected to the inlet of the peristatic pump. What will happen that means that if my reservoir which is within the uh, peristatic pump has a media then I can flow the media through the peristatic pump through the outlet to the inlet of the microfluidic chip it will flow through it and from the outlet of the microfluidic chip that, that media will come back to the inlet inlet of the peristatic pump. So, how can you run this peristatic pump, how can you control the peristatic pump uh, because peristatic pump can be used to control from 0.1 microliter per, per minute to several microliters per minute or in fact in some cases few ml plus uh, per minute. Now, this is extremely important uh, pump because uh, we can mimic the in vivo situation where in some of the cases uh, your drug will diffuse into your uh, you know uh, tumor uh, at a rate of 0.1 to 1 micrometer per second. How can you exactly replicate that kind of environment in the in vitro platform? In vitro is uh, where you are checking in the laboratory all right and you are uh, uh, so, so, so for example, drug screening you want to flow the drug with 1 microliter per second. How can you flow? You can use syringe pump or you can use the peristatic pump, but like I said if you want to flow it for 48 hours the same uh, media you have once the syringe is over you do refill it right. So, you cannot uh, you cannot have a closed loop system in the in that case while in the peristatic pump you can have a closed loop system. So, that is the advantage uh, it can be used for a lot of applications including immunotherapy. So, uh, just uh, focus on that particular aspect and uh, I will see you before the next lab class. Welcome to the sensors and actuators course. In today's session, we will be discussing about an actuator that is called as peristaltic pump. So, there are water pumps, pumps are uh, devices or actuators that are used to move a fluid from one point to another. Okay. So, we use different type of pumps, uh, maybe centrifugal pumps, peristaltic pumps, etc. Okay. We will be um, showing demo of one of it. Okay. So, uh, there is um, the pumps can be classified into different categories ok positive displacement pump as well as centrifugal pumps ok. So, peristaltic pump is type of a positive displacement pump. So, you must have discussed about positive and uh, positive displacement pump as well as centrifugal pumps in the previous lectures by the professor. So, I will be showing the demonstration of peristaltic pump which is a positive displacement pump now. In the uh, screen you can see two pumps this is a uh, 12 volt peristaltic pump over here and this is a uh, costly uh, peristaltic pump for microfluidic applications. You must have seen the uh, one of this kind of uh, peristaltic pump uh, as part of the lab videos. Okay. These are these peristaltic pumps are positive displacement pumps and they are used for very uh, precise applications. Uh, especially in microfluidics, drug delivery and other things where the flow has to be controlled very accurately. Uh, okay. So, we have a bigger peristaltic pump which are like costly as well, but at the same time they can uh, regulate the flow in, uh, in the rates of milliliter per hour and all. So, which is kind of very minute volume of fluid that is being pushed and this is a uh, higher volume displaced as well as 12 volt motor. Okay. Now, I will show you how a peristaltic pump works. You can see here in a GIF image, okay. you can see that the fluid will come through this port. Okay. So, it will come over here. So, what we have is a rotating roller kind of thing okay. and in that rotating roller itself we have some small uh, different wide rollers also you can see. So, what happens is 
this is the casing of the uh, motor or the peristaltic pump and there is a flexible tube over here. So, the water or any fluid that is uh, to be pumped will be coming over here and what happens is when the roller rotates, this roller will come and push the fluid within the tube between the wall here and, and the roller and push it to, it to the other end. Okay, that is how the pumping of a peristaltic pump works. So, this is a positive displacement pump that means that the fluid will move only in one direction. Okay. So, this is a positive displacement pump and this is called the peristaltic uh, pump. Okay, this process, this uh, flow process is called as peristaltis. It is uh, present in even human bodies. Okay. So, this is how it works. Mm. This is the working of peristaltic pump. I have a peristaltic pump like what you saw in the image previously. Uh, so, this is a small 12 volt peristaltic pump. I will open up and show you how it looks like inside. This is the flexible tube that we talked about. So, this will be compressed if we give the input fluid here. Uh, this tube will uh, that fluid will be sucked and pushed in and the output will come through this tube. Okay. Uh, come, uh, the output will come through this tube and input will come through this tube and you can see that it is just nothing but a uh, DC motor only here. Okay. So, the DC motor is what is rotating that roller that I have shown here. Okay. So, you can see that there are rollers here. So, you can see that the tube is over here and this is the casing between which the tube will be pressed against. Okay. And you can see there is a motor shaft, there is a motor shaft and what happens is there is a mound for the rollers like this. This is not exactly what uh, like what you saw in the GIF, but this is a different model. So, there the rollers are fixed in different ways. This is one of the design. So, I am just putting the thing over the roller. Okay. Now, if we give power supply to the motor, this roller unit entirely will start to rotate. Okay. Now, the tube that is going to come over here will be compressed. You can see the tube is being uh, pressed against and it has deformed, but it will still work. So, this is the internal construction of a peristaltic pump. It is nothing but a DC motor, but with a different construction, a flexible tube and outer casing to hold the flexible tube and the rollers attached to the DC motor. So, I am just putting it back. Okay. Can, okay. So, the this is how a peristaltic pump is. I will show demonstrate you how uh, we are going to use the peristaltic pump. As I already said, peristaltic pump is nothing but a DC motor when it comes to its working principle. So, we will be using the same circuit that we used previously for the DC motor and the same code that we used. Okay. So, I will be showing the demo with that code as well as circuit. So, you remember this Arduino code, right? It is the same code that we used for the motor. So, I have used the uh, serial communication, then pin number 2 and 3 are connected to the motor driver. Over here, it is the pump that is being connected to the motor driver now. Okay. And uh, I have connected a, a potentiometer to the analog pin A0. The same process, we took the analog value from the potentiometer, we print it also, uh, so that we can see it on the serial plot, plotter. The value y will be stored with the, the uh, value of x by 4 so that we can adjust the range from 1 0 to 1 0 2 3 to 0 to 255. Then using the analog uh, write 2 comma y, I am controlling the speed of the pump and here it is grounded the other in other terminal of the pump. So, by adjusting the potentiometer, we will be able to adjust the flow rate. Okay. Now, we will see the circuit at once. So, as we uh, it is the same circuit that we used previously, I have the mega board. We have the potentiometer connected. I have the motor driver L29810 and the peristaltic pump I showed you. And the, here is a peristaltic pump that is connected to the circuit in the same way as the motor driver was connected, uh, the motor was connected to it. So, this is the D, um, DC motor in the peristaltic pump and this is the tubes. Okay. 
So this is the power supply. You can see that the tube here, uh, one of the tube is going to this empty vessel and the other one is going to a uh, vessel with the water. I am going to switch on the power supply now here, DC power supply. So since I have already uploaded the code, you can see that the water, uh, the pump is starting to operate and the pump is pumping the water. See you can see here, the water is going from here and going to and falling into the vessel. Okay. This is how a peristaltic pump works. You can see that that uh, water is not falling continuously. It is falling in, in at a, uh, not continuously but at discrete intervals. This is because you must be remembering that peristaltic pump is not continuously pushing water. It will push water in the tube for a while and then the roller will lose the contact, it will come again. So there is a small gap that is why it is kind of pulsating and not continuous. Okay. So this is how a peristaltic pump works. I hope you understood this thing. So this is one of the pump that we use very commonly uh, mainly because of the fact that it is very accurate and consistent. You can see that the water level is increasing, right. And uh, if I switch that cables now, you can see that no longer water is coming because the motor or the pump is pumping water in the opposite direction. But you can see bubbles coming because now the air is being pumped. So the peristaltic pump can even pump air because it's it is just a positive displacement pump. Okay. A centrifugal pump cannot do this and it is self priming. This one, the peristaltic pump since it is positive displacement, it's, it is self priming. You can see the bubble coming. But in case of a centrifugal pump, you have to prime it before use. It is self priming. See, even if air is in the tube, it will start pushing the water out. See, it is coming again. So, it is self priming. Okay. So, this is how a peristaltic pump works. So, thank you.